Bye from Chicka 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 China. <laughs> Welcome back, ninjas. Peace be upon you. So here we have another very interesting video. I don't, uh, I didn't find on YouTube that anybody done something like this uh, uh, comparison or basically just a small, uh, I would say it like uh, a tech, a tech video regarding uh, smartphones, maybe slash also gaming slash uh, RAM uh, informations, etc, etc. So we're going to tell you basically the title already says what I'm going to do. How many RAM does PUBG Mobile consumes or takes uh, out of your uh, basically your smartphone or basically from the background uh, of your total RAM? Example, this in my hand is the right now 3 gigabyte RAM smartphone. But like you see by itself, uh, on the default, the operative system takes around 1 gigabyte byte it needs for that for all the uh, obviously for the all apps running in the background for the system apps etc etc you probably know about that uh, there are a lot of videos regarding that so you can check it on the youtube channel so let's see here if it we had also 1.9 but let's say a two gigabytes with two gigabytes and we're gonna do here with four gigabyte ram smartphone and also with six gigabyte ram smartphone and also i'm gonna try to do it with two gigabyte ram smartphone so please stick with me and again i have to remind you that this is also again not a 100 percent correct way or maybe it's not uh, reflecting uh, it's not reflecting don't think that uh uh, these uh, all these smartphones that two, three, four, six, and eight gigabyte RAM smartphones will consume exactly the same, exactly in the percentage, the same amount of the RAM uh, or for the particular specific game, like example right now of PUBG Mobile. Because remember that uh, two gigabyte RAM smartphones are cheap smartphones. They have low end uh, SOCs and also they have a different and they have also uh, weaker uh, graphics, weaker GPUs. So in that way, PUBG can't use the same uh, the same power. Obviously, the more RAM because of the textures are, are stored in the RAM. There, uh, many many different fa factors there are uh, obviously uh, reflecting the performance and the usage of the RAM. So I hope you understand me. Uh, probably and by the logic, by the logic, if we go with the logic that uh, a PUBG with a Snapdragon 845 with Adreno 630 probably should take more RAM uh, from the uh, from the RAM available, uh, and we're gonna see it. It should be man, if because it's more gra graphically uh, present uh, uh, represented. Obviously, uh, obviously more graphics are added, more activated shadows, uh, uh, HDR graphics, 60 FPS, etc., etc. And we will see. This is in my hand, Helio P22. Also depends of the processor, like I said, and GPU, and also regarding the Android software so remember that this is again it's a flawless it's a flawless comparison it's a flawless comparison and I have to make a disclaimer uh, it's not a 100% real representation uh, of the actual world uh, test there remember that but this is just I'm gonna put it here side by side to test these smartphones in one single video I don't want to do a single video for uh, each of these smartphones let me just do it in one single video right now we have 1.9 so something is happening with the MIUI operative system they are basically something let's check this out now now two gigabytes anyway uh, let's start PUBG so I'm gonna just fast forward. Or okay, Ninja. So here we go. Uh, Redmi 6, 3 gigabyte RAM smartphone. Uh, we'll have to cross these two right now. These two gigabyte RAM smartphones, which I have, do not even. They don't even. They can't even run PUBG Ninjas. Unfortunately, it's not available. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just test how many RAM is consumed in the menu. Uh, in the intro, basically. Let me just just see. So we have 1.7 in just we have 1.7 here at the intro 1.7 remember that we had at the beginning uh, how i'm gonna say it 1.9 or 2 okay i'm gonna put it like this 1.9 and 2 ninjas anyway so let's go now and run and run it into the menu here we go we are in the menu ninjas uh, you can see it by itself uh, anyway, let's go now and see how much of the RAM we have right now. So it's 1.6 right now in the menu. Here we go. I'm going to put it here, 1.6. And let's go and run it. Uh, it's going to probably be, let me just see. Uh, yeah, quick match. It's going to be quick match. Let's go. Check it out. Check it out, ninjas. We are in the game parachuting. Uh, let me just see how much we have right now. 1.4. Oh, my God. 1.4 we have right now. Let's go back and we're going to go into the ground just for the last test here. Let's see what's happening.
This is Redmi 6 Halo P22 processor, remember that. I'm going to try to uh, do this test also with the Snapdragon 625 to see how much uh, that processor consumes for the PUBG. Okay, I think you get the point here. I'm not going to play, play this one for half hour. So 1.4 Ninjas, uh, 1.4, 1.4, there you go. So uh, by this calculation, uh, if we go with the 1.9, that's a uh, half gigabyte, so 500 megabytes. Or if we go with the two, that's basically 600 megabytes. So 600 megabytes, uh, of course, for the three gigabyte RAM variant. So let's go now move to the 4 gigabyte smartphone. Obviously, it's going to be more advanced uh, processor. It's going to have better graphics, but we're going to still see will it consume more RAM since it has better graphics, it's more powerful processor, etc, uh, etc, et ninjas. Uh, you will see. Again, I repeat that this is probably a, a flawless comparison, but I just want to include these two different RAM, uh, two different smartphones with a different RAM amount to see basically what kind of an approximate approximate ram amount they take for to run the pubg mobile so you can see by itself that uh, right now it still takes just uh, uh, 600 maximum 600 megabytes ninjas maximum 600 megabytes and this is running uh, via, via gfx tool uh, with the hdr is it hdr mode let me just check it out it is but without shadows it is hdr mode come on come on settings it's a small tiny icon now hd mode extreme and realistic ninjas with the auto adjust graphics disabled okay and just for the end again 1.4 so still 1.4 we're gonna try to close it and let's see what's gonna happen nothing clear to catch or oh, really how come and now for the end we are back to 1.9 to uh, gigs ninjas Yep, 1.9. So let's leave this smartphone on the side. Let's begin with the 4 gigabyte RAM smartphone. Let's begin with this one. Stay tuned. Uh, not stay tuned, man. Let's go immediately to show you in the RAM. Uh, what do we have? Let me just go to, to the settings. I love to do these kind of uh, videos. I don't know, maybe it's not interesting for you, but for me, it's super interesting. This is like going into the core of the software and the real power and basically the real informations of your uh, device, bro. So memory, let's see here how much we have before we start with the PUBG example. Again, I'm running uh, the latest build of the PUBG, latest version. I'm gonna firstly clean everything from the background and I'm gonna still wait uh, until these uh, apps open in the background. That's basically because they are, I'll just show you right now, device mountains, okay. Because they are software based apps and they need to run and they're gonna run as soon as I open PUBG, they're gonna still, uh, they're gonna still run. Anyway, so it's 1.4. 1. 1. So we have 1.4 ninjas, we have 1.4. Uh, let's type it here. Oh my god, in just available space, 1.4. Could you believe that, bro? 1.4. What do I have in the background? Gallery, Samsung, Samsung apps, Samsung device, Facebook, Chrome, Instagram. I do have all these apps with the Redmi 6 here. Wait a minute, let me show you. Yeah, I do have all these apps with the Redmi, but I have some Samsung apps running in the background. So we have memory. Well, let's type it here. Let's see. 1.5, 1.4. So it's, again, a mix-up. Something is happening in the background. So 1.4, 1.5 for 4 gigabyte RAM, Samsung S8. Anyway, let's uh, go with the PUBG. Here you go, PUBG. Okay, Ninjas, so unfortunately, uh, the Samsung it didn't give me an option to use Facebook or something like that. So it went straight away to the uh, menu, basically. So sorry for that one. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go now and put it in the background let's see what do we have what oh, okay that's fine okay uh, memory consumes which is this is really good we can see how much it consumes there uh, so far it says 500 megabytes ninjas 500 megabytes what but we have here available space 1.2 so what is happening here what is happening here uh, let's go now here hit the memory hit the memory let, let it calculate again Okay, odd. So anyway, I'm going to put it to what I'm seeing, 1.2, 1.2 ninjas. We had at the beginning 1.5 or slash 1.4. And let's go now and start the PUBG. First, I'm going to just show you the settings. 
let's go to the settings graphics hdr the options i didn't use the gfx tool for this one um so you know what i'm gonna do two times i'm gonna do it without the gfx tool and i'm gonna do it with the gfx tool in jazz why not bro let's see what's gonna happen oh here you go an idea freestyling man i'm freestyling with ideas i'm a true old school rapper bro anyway let's go now uh, and start it just a quick match what we done with the Xiaomi redmi 6 and let's see here we go we are finally parachuting ourselves so let's see what happened with the ram we have 1.1 1 .1, 640 megabytes oh one gigabyte now right now we have one gigabyte probably it's gonna go to uh to 900 megabytes so let's just go back and let's see hit a memory again one and still one probably it's, it's around something like 900 i'm sure it is and that should be it that should be it okay we are in the ground on the ground let's see what's happening check this out check it out check it out check it out check it out oh my god it's laggy what is happening samsung what is happening bloody samsung okay i think now we are back probably because the game was running in the background so that's why it, it was laggy for five seconds or maybe not okay so i think you get the point here let's go now and see uh, what do we have for the end for the end we have still one gigabyte so one gigabyte and basically we're gonna just go with what is calculated there 600 megabytes ninjas 600 megabytes so we did begin in at the beginning we did had around 1.5 so it takes around six 600 megabytes so which is very interesting I exactly very similar like uh, with the xiaomi redmi 6 which has the low end soc and it has three gigs of ram ninjas very very interesting so you get i hope you get the point right now we're gonna go now with the pocophone f1 on the right side which has six gigs of ram oh no sorry for that excuse me excuse me now we're gonna go install gfx tool and we're gonna run it the PUBG on 60 fps uh, hdr mode i hope i can get that and i should i should with the gfx tool stay tuned okay ninjas we're gonna start again but right now i'm using the gfx tool and again we have the same uh, situation there 1.4 slash 1.5 so one way, somewhere in between the border between 1.4 and 1.5 uh let's just run the pubg i already installed the gfx tool and i run the pubg so when you uh install the gfx tool you don't have to go every single time when you want to run uh, play pubg it's already in uh, in the settings there for you so uh it, just for the first time you start the uh, gfx tool uh, set up the settings 60 fps and it will show you right now in the settings you will see that it is extreme mode enabled just a minute okay we are in the menu let me just see in the menu here uh, how it looks like around 1.2 so yes 540 megabytes so yep everything exactly the same like before let me just go to the settings and i'll show you right now the graphics check it out hd extreme mode realistic enabled so unfortunately with this new gfx tool it's enabled to select the hdr mode ninjas at least something with my exynos samsung s8 i don't know if all of you have this kind of problem but this is what i get bro this is what i got but the most important thing it is extreme and i did enable the shadows also on uh, anyway let's begin again the same mode quick match okay just here we go we are parachuting ourselves so let me just go to the memory and around 1.1 .1, uh, let's see it's gonna probably go to one gigabyte like previously let's just go pubg mobile give it a try give it a try but there is laggy bro something oh my god with this new build again some problems with the samsung s8 I didn't have I don't have any lags with the Samsung S9 plus oh my god what a difference and this is a huge difference with the GFX tool you probably can see shadows are activated you can see by self check the just check the graphics how they, there you go the shadows are on shadows are on bro super realistic super realistic bro probably the best game ever produced for Android devices beautiful beautiful anyway this is it let's see go back and 1.1 interesting uh, less slightly uh, no no the same 
sorry for that, 650 megabytes the same ninja. So you can see by itself, even with the uh, highest maximum settings that you can get uh, with the HDR, with HD and extreme mode 60 FPS, it still takes uh, around 600 megabytes ninja. Okay, so let's go now with the Pocophone F1, which has uh, 6 gigs of RAM ninja. So let me just exit everything. I think we exited it. Yeah, we did. So, uh, anyway, uh, let me just enable the Facebook. Okay, so let's see what do we have. 3.8 gigabytes available with the Pocophone F1 after, uh, uh, out of the six. Again, uh, remember that this is flawless comparison, flawless test ninjas because uh, all these these are completely different softwares, different different operative systems, different processors, uh, uh, obviously different also Android skins, uh, and uh, usually probably uh, everyday use uh, you're gonna have moderate, you're gonna have these uh, the the RAM consumption will fluctuate, man. You'll see. Anyway, uh, we're gonna just type here 3.8 gigabytes. So let me just go hit again the clean. What do we have? Do we still have three? Still, we have still 3.8. And we're going to begin right now with the PUBG and also the highest maximum settings, at least uh, with the 60 FPS and HDR mode. Let me just hit the PUBG and also the shadows will be activated, ninjas. Uh, same thing what I, well, I done with the Samsung S8, but remember the Samsung S8 also only offered HD. While I'm with the Pocophone F1, we will have the HDR mode. You will see. Stay tuned. Hey, good ninja, as you can see by yourself, HDR mode, extreme, realistic, uh, out of just graphics disabled. And we are in the menu, let's see, uh, in the menu, let's see just how much of the RAM we have, 3.3 .3 ninjas. So we have 3.3, .3, already 300 megabytes uh, in the menu, but the most important thing is uh, the gameplay itself in the game. So we have exactly the same match, let's begin. Okay, we are... We are on, we are on. Let's see, while well, he's parachuting 3.2. Let's see, will he get more? 3.2, I'm gonna just type it here, 3.2. Okay, and let's go again to the game. Unfollow, check this out, Ninjas. Check the speed of the Pocophone F1, oh my god. This video is in 30 FPS, it's not 60 FPS, so probably you can't see the smoothness, but you can check my two, three videos, which are done completely disregarding the Pocophone F1. Uh, and obviously the GFX tool with 60 FPS. I mean, again, let's leave it as it is, like this. Let it run like that. Beautiful, beautiful Pocophone F1. And we have 3.2, still 3.2 available. 3.2. Let's see here. Come on, come on. Take more RAM, bro. Take more RAM. Bloody you, it's HDR mode, 60 FPS. Shadow are activated. Let me just show you that shadows are activated. Everything is activated, bro. There you go. Antalyzing also is activated. Beautiful. Let's see what's happening now with the RAM. 3.1. 3.1. 3.1. Probably it's in, it's in the border with the 3.2. Anyway, let's go, let's go. Uh, it's probably storing the textures in the uh, in the bathroom there. So uh, if I find time free later on, I'm gonna try to play PUBG for a half hour. I'm gonna see the RAM consumption for a long gameplay. That's also interesting, isn't it? An, it probably it's an interesting idea. 3.2. We are back to 3.2. So something regarding the uh, basically storing the textures, using it or not using it. It's probably because of that. Anyway. Yeah, still 3.2 ninjas. So I think you get the point here. So 3.2, let's say maximum 3.1, around exactly the same, probably like Samsung S8, which is very, very interesting between six between 650 megabytes to 700 megabytes ninjas. Remember that uh, uh, the three gigabyte RAM smartphone uh, took how much? This three gigabyte RAM smartphone took. Do we remember how much it took? Yes, it took also 600, uh, 600 megabytes in just, uh, slightly less. And obviously, which uh, I think um, it backs my theory, it backs my theory that it will uh, just slightly less consume RAM because it doesn't use the same uh, level of the graphics which these flagship uh, processors offer. Uh, we are not running in high graphics, so basically less textures to store, less tex texture to deal with, etc., etc., less resolution, blah, 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 so many, many different things. So 
Okay, ninjas, to add a bonus smartphone here in this uh, kind of a comparison, it's not a comparison, it's this basically to show you how much uh, uh, some smartphone consumes the RAM for the, uh, or basically how much the PUBG mobile game uh, consumes the RAM in a different smartphones with a different amount of the RAM, different software. Anyway, I'm going to also add here Samsung S9 Plus. Since I added the Samsung S8, let's add Samsung S9 Plus with the Exynos 9810. Available space right now, it's uh, 2.6 gigabytes, Ninjas. 2.6 gigabytes. Okay. Remember that with the Samsung S8 with 4 gigs of RAM, we had 1.5. So with 6 gigs of RAM, this is a 6 gigabyte RAM smartphone, Samsung S9 Plus Ninjas. Damn, man, it consumes a lot of RAM, man. It does consume a lot of RAM. Also reserved there, it's almost 1 gigabyte. Have that in mind. Anyway, so let's run. I'm going to run PUBG. Remember, I'm going to run PUBG here with the GFX tool. I already installed everything. I already set up. Uh, it's going to be exactly the same settings, graphics, which our Pocophone F1 had. Yes, Ninjas, 60 FPS, HDR, extreme mode, analyzing enabled, and shadows are activated. So let's see here. Both of these smartphones do have 6 gigs of fan, but different software. Oh, yeah. They do have Android 8.1 Oreo, but different software. Remember, Samsung Experience Android skin versus, obviously, the MIUI 9.5 Android skin there on top of that. Let's begin. Here we go. I just want to show you that it is HDR, extreme realistic, analyzing enabled. Check this out. And let's go just uh, basically uh, in the background, see what happened with the RAM. Oh my God, 1.8 gigabytes. Already 600 megabytes. Already 600 megabytes for the Samsung S9 Plus, bro. Interesting. Uh, so let's go back. And we're going to, again, do arcade quick match. Let's go. Okay, Ninjas, here we go. Here we go. We are parachuting ourselves. Let's begin and do what we had. 1.8 still 1.8 whoa hmm hmm let's go again to the memory 624 megabytes okay exactly the same 624 megabytes and so right now we have 1.7 so let's go back to pubg unfollow okay that's lagging because it was uh, closed in the background let's see Okay, beast. It is Samsung S9 Plus. It is a beast, bro. For the gaming, it is a beast, honestly. For Android games, unfortunately, for emulators, it's not. Already explained why, so please don't ask me again. It is a beast. Check this out how smooth this is. Oh my god. Anyway, you can see by some the shadows are activated. Let me just show you. Oh, just a minute. Come on, exit. Anyway, shadows are on. Remember that? Exactly the same settings which I use for the Pocophone F1. Anyway, let's go uh, in the background. And what do we have? <coughs> exactly the same as Pocophone F1, man. Exactly the same. So 1.7. So it took... Yeah, so basically 700 megabytes, Ninjas. At least this one is showing us 700 megabytes. 700 megabytes. Almost 700 megabytes. So Ninjas, like you see by itself, uh, it took exactly the same as uh, almost Samsung S8, more, a bit more there, I think so, I mean, just a bit, or maybe the same, which is really odd. It's really, really odd because we are playing it on more, uh, more uh, graphically demanded, uh, dem demanding settings. And you can see by itself that it didn't make any huge difference. It's not like if you are playing on HD or HDR, it's going to be like three or maybe three, four hundred megabytes difference. It's just slightly, maybe 50 megabytes more or less, bro. That's another big difference, not a big difference. So you can see by itself that for a 6 gigabyte RAM smartphone, uh, 700 megabytes is nothing. It's nothing, Ninjas. You still have available 1.8. Oh my God, 1.8. So basically you can play uh, two more, three PUBG games with a parallel space if that's even possible. I don't think it is. But anyway, you get my uh, thing. You get my thing, man. You get me. Yeah? You get me. You get me. So exactly almost the same like the Pocophone F1 is approximately around uh, 650 to 700 megabytes, Ninjas. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed in this video. So I think you get the point here. Uh, so far with 6 GB RAM variant with the maximum settings with the shadows activated, HDR mode, extreme mode, 60 FPS. That was maximum 700 megabytes, between 650 to 700 megabytes, Ninjas. So I hope I answered all your questions. This is regarding the 6 GB RAM variant. 
and it's gonna probably be the same like with the 8 gigabyte ninjas there is no point for you to spend 100 dollars more for 8 gigabyte ram smartphone if you're gonna basically mainly mainly open 10 apps every single day ninjas 8 gigabyte ram smartphones are for really uh, like 0.00001 percent users in the whole world who i don't know open these five 15 high-end games and they basically they, they are so addicted regarding the games that uh, and also so undecided they don't they don't want they don't even know which game to play for a long period so they're just playing five minutes asphalt 9 five minutes nba 2k18 which uh, a little bit it's i don't know um it's not cool it's not even i don't know how you can even play nba 2k18 or pubg for five minutes it's even impossible because it takes more it takes three a match takes i think a half hour maybe 20 minutes or so pubg also takes a match even a classic mode or the arcade mode or classic mode takes half hour uh to finish it man if you are one of the chicken chicken winner dinner 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 uh, anyway you get the point here uh, uh, this video is just to show you the three four and six gigabyte van variant smartphones how much they consume the ram and remember that uh, this this, uh, this uh, comparison this video doesn't reflect uh, the amount of the ram that uh, the amount of consumption of the ram for the other softwares for other smartphones maybe i have here the mui 9 with 6 gigs of ram snapdragon 845 but there is an oxygen os one plus six uh, with the snapdragon 845 uh, 6 gigs of ram and maybe it won't have the same ram consumption this one had almost 700 megabytes remember this ninjas the pocophone f1 with uh, these extreme mode graphics. I hope you enjoyed in this small uh, videos regarding this is specifically for my gamers. I hope you enjoyed. So I hope I answered your questions. Uh, uh, this is Ninja's approximate. You won't see a big difference if there are some different smartphones. This is an approximate usage and I did. Uh, I remember that I tested PUBG on at least, I think at least 30 smartphones, 30. 3-0 ninjas i think 30 smartphones so i know what i'm saying ninjas i'm not some kid who is using smartphones for the first time i'm doing this almost three years no more than three years yeah more than three years uh, and i know what i'm saying man i know what i'm saying anyway for the end i will always say that probably uh, i am not 100 percent correct right now what i said here and i admit that i might uh, i might i might be wrong maybe i made a mistake so please forgive me on that one i'm just here to show you physically how these smartphones behave without sweet talk without some numbers without some written uh, articles or, so or something like that just a basic uh, everyday real life performance real user how you would uh, feel and how would you see it if you are holding these smartphones in your hands at your home uh, anyway wish you all the best see you till next time Mohammed is signing out peace have you ever wondered where to buy smartphones from chicka chicka ching 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 china that is the gearbest.com and banggood.com the most reliable two sites for online buying use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything ninjas that's the best way to support me let's go